Hey everybody, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor, and this is Friday Fab Five. I do this every Friday morning at 9.30 a.m. Uh, Central Time, and I share five of my favorite things with you guys that I have been loving this week. Some of them are like related to me being a mom and things I do around the house. Some of them are craft supply items you just never really know. So if you kind of just need some little handy things in your life to make life more beautiful, more enjoyable, or um, make life easier, I've got the hookup. Um, a lot of my items come from Amazon, by the way, and um, so I have the links for you for everything that you're gonna, like that you might possibly be interested in. Um, if you guys notice, my hair is super curly today. I revamped it this morning with um, a little bit of water, curl cream, and whatnot, but, my first Friday. This is segueing. I like that little segue. I'm segueing into my first Friday fab bottom. If you notice, this curl right here is looking perfect, as is this curl right here and that curl right there. 99% of the rest of my curls, all of this is natural. This right here and this right here is not. See how perfectly coiled those are? My hair doesn't naturally do the perfect coils. Some of mine are wavy, some of them are coiled, um, and some of them just kind of do their own thing. But on occasion, I have those mornings where I've like revamped my hair and I get it all done and I'm like, all right, looks great. And then I'll look and I'll have like one crazy one, like that one right there, that does not curl. And I'm like, mm. Like, cause it looks out of place with all the rest of my curls, right? But I found this bad boy. I don't know if it was on a Facebook ad, whoever shared it, or maybe it was, I think it was TikTok. I don't know. I'm a sucker for somebody who will share a good tip with me. This is the skinniest curling iron I have ever owned in my entire life. Um, and I've only used it twice now, but I've been super impressed at how well it works. It comes with a little um, glove, which I don't use. I just like to risk burning myself instead. And I've only used it twice because most days my hair does not need this. But today I woke up, I refreshed my curls, and I had like one piece right here that like was curly right here. And then from here down it went whoop and did like a straight line. And I'm like, ah, I wish it would all be curly. So I plugged this little dude up. And you can adjust the temperature on it. I think the high, I don't know if the highest or the like the norm setting when you turn it on is like 380 degrees. Well, I left it on that the very first time I used it, and oh my goodness, it was like too hot. The reason I say that is because I didn't even have time to get my hair wrapped all the way around it before it was already like curling this up here, and so I, I'm learning. So today, I turned it down to like 260, which is kind of low for a curling iron, but I knew that I only needed it for just a second, and so I would quickly just do 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 wrap it around and about as soon as I would get to that last tiny piece of hair, I would go like this and just pull it out. And of course this is not plugged in, it's not on, it's cold. But this is the curl that I got this morning from Matt, as you can see. I didn't even get all the way up to my scalp because mine was naturally curly from here all the way down to here and then from here down it decided not to cooperate this morning. So if you have really naturally curly hair like I do, um, I really like this tiny little barrel because I can turn the temperature way down and still get a softer, slightly more natural looking curl. Um, if I had used the other curling iron I have, I believe it's like a, a one inch barrel maybe, the curls would have been more like too big. It would not have fit with the rest of my natural curls, but those kind of camouflage in. Like I can just camouflage those in to make them look a little more natural. So. Um, I also really want to try it on Charlie. So if I can ever get her to sit still, we're going to see what she would look like with super curly hair. We may make her look like she's an 80s child, but we'll see one of these days. Um, so my second Friday Fab Five item for you guys is a swimsuit that I bought for our trip to Destin. I got it on Amazon. It's normally $56. Oh, by the way, I believe this was $28, $29 on Amazon. Um, it's ceramic coated too, so it's not supposed to damage your hair. That's another reason I turned the temperature way down is because I'm trying to stay away from heat products as much as I can on my natural curls because it's not good for them. And so I turned the heat way down also so I wouldn't damage my hair. Um, okay, so I bought a bathing suit for our trip to Destin and 
I'm always really reluctant about bathing suits, but I did try this one on. That's why I said I'm not going to model this item for you guys. But um, it is so cute. It is a one shoulder and it has this little ruffle that starts up at the shoulder and then goes down across here. So it starts here and then goes down across to here. And it also does the same thing in the back. And it's so elegant. It's got, I know you can't see in the photo, but it's got like the little um, ruched looking tummy so that it hides all the bumps and rumples in your tummy. It's also available in different patterns. So here it is in a floral pattern. I got the black and white, but they also have it in some patterns. So if you're more of a pattern kind of girl or maybe teal, that's really pretty. Um, I have a little black skirt that I wear because I can't stand for anything above the knee to be showing. I try to be as modest as I can. So I wear a little skirt with mine on the beach and my skirt is black. So that's why I got the black to go with my skirt. Um, but this bathing suit, I, what size did I get? Hold on. I will look and tell you because I'm a size 10 slash 12 and I bought and it fits perfectly. What size did I buy? I think they said you might need to size up. So that's why I was wondering your order details. Maybe it'll tell me. Um, it's not telling me. I'm not sure what size I bought, but uh, the reason I chose the size I did was because I looked at the reviews. So if you go, I don't have the skirt with me, Lori. <laughs> I wish I could. I don't think I got it on Amazon. I may have. I'll put that in next Friday's Fab Fives if I can find it. Um, but what I was saying about the bathing suit, if you want to go buy one and you're not sure what size to get, the trick that I always use on Amazon is I scroll down and look at the reviews and I try to look at the photo reviews of the people who've actually tried it on in the pictures. And the people in the pictures will say, I'm a size 12 and this is the size I got. It fits a little snug or it doesn't and they'll let you know. Um, so that is the bathing suit that I got for my trip to Destin and it's so, so cute. All right, so um, the next item I have on Friday Fab Five, what do I want to show you next? I should have kept my computer open because I get squirrely and I forget what my items were before I even get to all of them. Um, let's see. One, oh, three. Here we go. I haven't showed this yet. Have you guys seen this stuff? I had not bought this until my sister-in-law was like, this stuff is a game changer for washing dishes. So I have always been a big believer in the Blue Dawn and I still use it. But this is really cool because you can go and spray all the dirty dishes in your sink and let them kind of be sitting there with this stuff soaking and degreasing everything. And it, should, it creates like a nice little foaminess all over your dishes. So you just spray it on. Then you can put your, you can um, like wet your sponge and just scrub each dish individually. And that way you don't have to fill up your entire sink with dish water to get everything going. Um, and it comes in different scents. I got the apple scent but it also has original Dawn scent and citrus that I know of. Um, but I didn't see the citrus at my Walmart, so I got the apple and it smells so good. But um, if you hate washing dishes, this kind of speeds things up because how many times, and I'm this kind of person, I put Dawn on my sponge and will let it soak into my sponge and then I use that sponge to scrub every dish. But sometimes by the time you get to like the fifth dish, you're, you're Soap is gone and you're having to put it on your stuff again. So this is like kind of quick. You can just spray it on all of them. Okay. The next item I have for you guys is, oh yes, this is what I was going to share. So I don't know if you guys watch my stories, but we did the webinar and during the webinar on Sunday night, I tried to use a teleprompter, right? And so I was super impressed by this app and I'm sharing it with you guys in case you ever need a teleprompter app. It is called Prompt Smart Light, L-I-T-E, Prompt Smart Light. They have a, pump, the, a pro version and all of this, but the light version is free and you can try it out. And as you, you put your script in there, you plug it in, and as you say the words, the words scroll up on the screen. It's the coolest thing. And so it just, it listens to your words and it scrolls the, the script for you. Now, let me preface this by saying I won't be using it much in the future because I've learned I'm not the kind of person who can read off of a script. It was super awkward. <laughs> I do. I sound a little bit robotic when I read off of a script, but I think with practice, I could get better. Um, but if you ever need to read off of a script, it was amazing to use. Um, so you might want to just try it since it's free. Um, and then the final item that I have for you guys, 
and I hadn't shared this before now, but and I've had it for a few weeks, is because I really wanted to give it a good try before I shared it with y'all. Because I've shared before my Dymo laser print or my Dymo label printer, right? Well, I have given up the Dymo and switched companies, and I'm now using the Rolo. Uh, the Rolo label printer, see how they're not um, spun on a roll? They're like nice and flat, and in this little box, it pulls them through, keeps them flat. They don't roll up on you. So the thing that I was always frustrated with my Dymo about is that when they came out, they would start to curl. And so a process that I had to add in after I printed my labels was like stretching them across the corner of a table to get them to like flatten out a little bit. And so I had to do that before I could even like start ripping them apart. Otherwise they just coiled up and rolled across my table and it was so annoying. Not to mention my Dymo was like techy a little bit. I don't know how to explain this. It was a little bit slow. And so not that it printed the label slow, but it's like it couldn't talk fast with my computer. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it was like it would get hung up and then sometimes it would run through three blank labels and then print another one. So those three were wasted and I got frustrated with it. And I know I have been an advocate for the Dymo before because it was life changing. It went from printing them on my home printer to actually printing them on labels and I was super impressed. But then my friend Sarah Williams told me about the Rolo and she's like, girl, why are you messing around with the Dymo? The Rolo prints them out and when they print out, they're in a nice, neat, flat little stack. And they're just kind of like, like a little accordion just stacked up there. And they're not rolling out and curling up on your floor. And if you're shipping out 50 packages like I am some days, that is like super annoying. And it slows you down because the paper's getting tangled up and you don't have a nice, neat little stack of labels. So if you think in the future or if you're ready now and you're going to be doing lots of label printing... I highly recommend that you invest in one of these. It's a little pricey. It's as much as the Dymo though and worth its weight in gold compared to the Dymo. Um, and it's also way easier to change out the paper and stuff than the Dymo is. You just flip this little deal here, set your label in there, pop, you're done. And I just keep, they, they make little stands you can buy to hold this, but I just keep mine in the box they came in and they just pull out of here as they go. Um, it's $179, I believe, for the printer. But, and I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my goodness, for a printer? But, hear me out. The labels are, are not that expensive. They're pretty cheap. I think they come down to like a couple pennies a piece. Like maybe two cents each. And the ink, it, it's, it's heat, right? It's heat that activates and makes the ink, I think, on there. I don't know. But there is no ink cartridges is what I'm trying to say. You do not have to buy ink cartridges for this. So if you're printing your labels from a computer, you're using not only paper and possibly labels, but you're using ink and that can get expensive. So this will pay for itself over time, especially if you're doing very much shipping at all. All right, so that is the last item on my Friday Fab Five, but I wanted to show you guys the new designs that we've put out in the shop today because one of them is one you guys have been begging us for and we finally got it in there. Um, so there is a mixer Kind of like a little KitchenAid mixer for those of you who are cooks and um, kitchen lovers. I love my KitchenAid mixer. Um, we also have a goat. This is the one you guys have been begging us to put out ever since we did the little floral farm animals. You guys said, oh, what about a goat? So I made a goat. And then we have a floral watering can. I taught this one in the Painter's Clubhouse. Was it last month? or It might have been two months ago. Back in May, I guess. And then we have this little frog. I plan to, I plan to paint him on Tuesday. And then we have um, the sunflower, which we've had the sunflower before, but before it did not have the etching lines for the center circle and stuff like that. And it did not have a color mock-up. So by recreating that and putting it in there, it provides the etched version for you guys if you need that center circle etched out and it provides you guys with a color mock-up because you guys know that if you didn't know, I'm telling you now, you can use the color mock-ups when you're advertising designs that people can order from you or choose for a paint party design. You can use these color mock-ups um, to advertise. And so if you've already purchased the sunflower in the past, you do not have to go rebuy it. You just have to re-download it, okay? So if you've purchased the sunflower template from us in the past, just go re-download the updated version. You don't have to buy it again. 
Um, I believe that also goes for this little frog because we had a frog exactly like this, but it did not have any details in it. It was just the outline. It didn't have the eyes, the face, or the stomach, or any of that, but now we have it with the, all the lines on the template, and it's available as an etched. And if you haven't watched that webinar that we did, I don't think I put the link in here, but I did put it in my stories last night and I did a Facebook Live last night talking about the webinar. I redid it yesterday as a um, live webinar um, without a script and without slides. And so it was much more like this where we're just talking on Facebook Live and it went well, way, way better than it went the other night when I was trying to use the slides and all of that. And it was just more natural for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know people who said that they watched both, um, said that they enjoyed both, but that the one that I did yesterday was just like even better. So, um, somebody said, will there be any Christmas in July templates in the next template club? There just might be. Um, yes, we do have a week dedicated to Christmas in July, so um, if you're a Template Club member, you can go and grab those. By the way, it is June 26th, which means that the month of June is almost over. So if you have not joined Template Club yet, um, you're going to want to do that before July 1st. Why? Because July is a five Friday month. That means you're going to get five extra templates in the month of July, so you'll get 25 templates for $30 instead of the usual 20 for $30, so it's an even better deal. Um, so go and join before July 1st. If you wait and join on July 1st, I believe it pushes you off until August, um, but if you join today, it won't bill you until July 1st, and then of course you will get all of July's templates for one low cost of $30. I do have the link for that um, in the message for you guys if you want to grab it. Um, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Go out and enjoy this beautiful weather. I do believe we are supposed to get some rain in Kentucky here on Saturday, but hopefully it's nice where you are and you can get out and enjoy the sunshine. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.